Hey, what's up? It's Vaughn. Let's talk about Starfield and specifically some of the recent news and updates uh, about the game before it releases next week. I'm recording this on the 22nd of August and, uh, you know, it's coming soon. So let's talk about some of the things we've seen. So today we had the Gamescom opening night live show by Jeff Keighley. Uh, overall, a real dud of a show, in my opinion, I thought it was uh, pretty uninteresting, kind of boring, but it opened up really um, interestingly <laughs> is the right word. Uh, it opened up with a live action trailer uh, for Starfield, which was awesome. Um, and then it had uh, another interruption from some people running up on stage saying and doing some weird stuff. Jeff Keighley being obviously very annoyed by it. And uh, and then it moved on to Todd Howard coming out and talking about Starfield. So there weren't any huge uh, revelations during this. It was uh, pretty uh, inconsequential. Uh, the live action trailer I thought was really neat. It was short and sweet. Um, what's interesting about Bethesda, and I know this has been the case with Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, um, and now Starfield, is that they uh, i believe skyrim as well they they do all this promotion for the game and then they uh you know they show the actual game and the footage and things like that and then right before it releases they do live action or cgi which is you know for a lot of games the opposite so uh you know that, that's nice to see uh the live action trailer was really neat it, it the whole thing about starfield is to evoke that sense of wonder and um mystery and things like that and it i think it did a great job um it was a little heartfelt thing it was very cool now when todd actually talked he didn't drop any like big news or anything it did appear that some of the footage that was playing in the background which i should have playing right now uh i think some of that stuff was new i hadn't seen it before but um nothing that, like huge revelations or anything but you know i think they're handling this pre release situation really well they've not given up many story details they've uh, you know todd did say he's like hey you know there's lots of things that we just haven't told you about you know that you're gonna have to see for yourself um and you know that's what's gonna happen next week so uh as a you know quick thing um you know i i unfortunately did not get a review code that's uh, the next section here is talking about uh, reviewers with codes and so those did go out last week uh so far all of the big people have been smart and haven't said anything um there have been some minor leaks uh it appears that in the last couple of days um, retailers have received their copies and it sounds like some street dates have been broken and the game has been sold early so uh, one example is someone posted the first 40 minutes uh, of the game uh, it's really low quality uh, it's kind of hard to tell exactly everything that's going on apparently i haven't watched it this is a game that I've been pretty diligent about making sure I don't see anything. I want to enjoy this game from scratch and so far so good. Uh, I will say the person who uploaded that then put up a YouTube short talking about it. And, um, you know, let's just say they're not a professional game reviewer with the comments they had uh, in the setting they were in. But they said something. My favorite line was no offense. Hey, hey Todd, no offense. It was a good game, man. <laughs> it was really cool. Um, it was it was just funny. Is a he didn't give any spoilers or anything, you know. In in that video, obviously the footage it did, but um, I, I suggest avoiding that. Try to go into this game blind, um, uh, unless you really just have to have it proven to you that this game's at least like you know what it says it is. You know, you do you. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. It got nuked from YouTube. Overall, though, the leaks have been pretty minimal. Uh, you know, a few days ago, the big uh, topic was uh, a, a person who had worked on World of Warcraft and some other games and he, that goes by Grums on uh, Twitter uh, posted what there was a leaked screenshot of the, uh, the the title screen and they tried to make this assertion that like oh, look how look how plain and uninspired the start screen is that this is a sign of a bad game because the devs didn't even care to make this look good one it looks fine <laughs> it, it, it looks especially if in motion it's you know you know fading in different planets and stuff like that but even if it's exactly what we saw with like the soundtrack in the background it's fine i will see that start screen for like 90 seconds ever i don't care and to assert that it 
you know, means that the game is going to be bad. Um, you know, that's just stupid. And this person should know better. And, um, you know, one of the heads of Bethesda even came out and said, basically that said, um, you know, this is one of the first things we do, actually. It tends to be a sign of inspiration. This was a Ed Boon, I believe. Uh, and, and people actually pulled up screenshots and some pictures from years ago when I believe it was Ed Boon or Todd was talking, was in like a theater talking to one of the, the teams. And then behind him was the, the start screen, the start menu. And so, you know, that kind of backed up his assertion that they do this actually really early. And, uh, you know, you kind of push back and said, hey, like, that's not true. And as a game dev as this person is or was at one point you should know better um the thing you have to keep in mind with these people who are making these kind of clickbait things on twitter especially now is that since the dummy took over twitter and changed its name and added this new monetization uh situation people are going to get monetized and people are going to make money from you just looking at their tweet and so, you know, unfortunately, that means it's going to encourage people to be very sensational, very toxic, uh, very clickbaity. And, you know, uh, un un unfortunately, people are going to figure out that in the grift, you know, being positive and thoughtful and reasonable is not very profitable. And this was, I, I believe, a situation like that. So. You know that person did what they did i think they ended up looking like a pretty major fool they posted like 20 tweets afterwards showing like good examples of uh start screens it's just dumb discourse i s uh, seriously believe this uh it will be the least of the topics uh, next week uh, on the 31st when reviews drop and then when early access begins and then i just you know my final thoughts on the game are just it, it's it, it was interesting thinking about when Fallout 4 came out and I was in my 20s, I was in my mid 20s. I, you know, was with uh, my wife, but she was my girlfriend at the time. Um, and we were both like getting our career started and we didn't live together yet. And I was living with my buddy still in, in an apartment. And, um, you know, my life was a lot different then. And even then I really appreciated Fallout 4. I, I really liked it. Um, you know, that's a game that I appreciate more now as a father, but even then I, you know, I liked it and uh, appreciated the, the story and, and how things played out. Um, but it's really interesting with Starfield coming up and, you know, the, the rumors that it's, it's very existential and, uh, explores a lot of like, you know, higher topics. Um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm in my mid thirties now and, um, you know, I, f I think a lot more about that stuff now and, and, and. I look at games in a way where I, I look for something from games I didn't used to. And uh, I'm just really excited to, to probably get that from this game. And, um, and and I think that's that's awesome. You know, I've seen a lot of people being negative and, and you know, pessimistic and, you know, doing the fanboy stuff and the, col the console war crap. But at the end of the day, Bethesda doesn't release that many games. And when they do, they tend to be really good. And uh, getting to see what a game in 2023 looks like from Bethesda, that's a whole new IP uh, that's in a genre and setting and aesthetic that I've recently really gotten into due to Mass Effect. Uh, it's just like such perfect timing. So uh, I'm really excited. I'm, I'm not letting the, the, you know, the, the, the angry people, you know, mess with my hype I, at this point you know life's short you know if there's things that you enjoy i think it's good and it's it's uh, appropriate to let yourself just fall into them enjoy them and uh you know let's let's all get hyped for starfield so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe to the channel i will be doing quite a bit of starfield coverage uh, if you like this video hit the like button uh, comment down below if you have any thoughts questions or if you just want to say hello you can catch me as Bond Diesel on Twitter, Twitch, Threads, and on my weekly gaming uh, news podcast, The Bondcast. It's on all podcast platforms and this very YouTube channel. If you want to support me and my content, check out patreon.com slash Bond Diesel. That's all I have. So until next time.